Okay, I'm going to show you some paper sculpture techniques. The first one I'm going to do is cutting. Cutting is pretty straightforward. You can cut any shape you want out of a piece of paper. It is up to you. That one is cutting. I'll leave my label on it so you can see it. The next one is folding and pleating. So that's where you take a piece of paper and if you think of a folded paper like a fan, that is folding and pleating. So I'm folding it back and forth every other direction. And it has this nice zigzag that is folded or pleated. The next one is a fun one, fringe. Fringe is where you take a piece of paper and you cut straight lines, but you don't go all the way to the top of your paper. Like this, and then you have all these little pieces of fringe and you can take some of them and you can bend it. You can take some and you can curl it if you want. It's up to you, so that's fringe. The next one is feather. And feather is kind of like fringe. So I'm gonna turn this into a feather shape, more of a feather shape. Like this. And this time I'm gonna cut from both sides, but I'm not cutting all the way through to the middle. Because if you do that, it's gonna fall apart. You could always cut out little triangles too like this if you wanted to. Either one works. You can cut it like a fringe or you can cut tiny triangles. But again, you're not cutting all the way across because if you do that, then it's going to fall apart and we don't want that to happen. So that is the feather technique. Okay, so that one's feather. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is curling. Curling is pretty simple. I'm going to actually make this skinnier. I like to use a pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one end and I'm going to roll it around the pencil like this. And then I'm just going to give it a good rub. This one's curling. And when you take it off, you get a nice little curl to it. There's curling for you. I can't get it to stay so you can read the name. Okay, similar is the roll. So the roll is where you take it. So the curling, I did it on an angle. Roll, I'm just gonna go all the way around the circle so that it overlaps itself. Give it a good squeeze. Sometimes it's good to hold it for a few seconds. And then when you take it out, that is a roll, just like that. And then there's the cone. So the cone, I cut into kind of a triangle shape except the top is curved and the bottom is curved. You're going to roll it just like you did before with the roll one and what you get is a nice little cone shape. Now you might have to use a stencil to get it exactly right and if you're gluing it when you put the glue on here you might want to hold it for a few seconds so I'm going to use a glue stick for mine. So I'm going to put my glue on there I would have a glue paper underneath so that you don't ruin what you're working on and then try to hold it for a few seconds. Usually 10 seconds is a good amount of time to hold it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You might need more or a better glue than what I'm currently using for my demonstration. So that one's cone. The next one is the slot. So the slot involves two pieces of paper. And what I'm gonna do is on one of them, I'm gonna cut a little hole up. And the other one, which should be about the same size for this one, I'm gonna cut a hole down. I'm not cutting all the way to the bottom. And when you slide those two together, that is the slot. So they're slotted together. Let's see, I'll try to leave this one for you standing up. Okay, then we have the spiral. So I have a square here, but some people start with a circle. 
and that is when you start cutting and you keep going in a circle but each time you go you get a little bit smaller and smaller you might help to draw the line first go in all the way to the middle so this is the spiral and next we have the chain so the chain you might remember so that's where you take thin strips and you lock them together some people use the stapler but that doesn't look so good and you glue them and then you put a next piece of paper inside Let's get my glue out. See if this will hold enough. So you're going to glue it and then you put your next piece of paper inside with a little glue on it. I'm off camera. Sorry guys. And you glue it and you pinch it. My glue is not good guys. I'm sorry. And each time you keep putting it in. You could do this on a larger scale with thicker pieces of paper and you can make it go across an entire classroom if you want as a decoration. I have to get you guys a better glue. Okay, I switched to hot glue so I can make this go faster. This is the chain. Then after the chain, this is tearing. Tearing's pretty straightforward. It's kind of doing controlled tears. So you can make it look like fringe, you can get rid of the edges, but it looks a lot nicer it, or gives it a different approach if you do a tear versus a straight cut line. So this is a controlled tear, so that's tearing. This one is the loop. So the loop is kind of like the roll, but when you're doing the loop, you are kind of keeping it into a shape. So instead of keeping it like a circle, you can pinch it together like this and it makes more of a teardrop shape. So I'm gonna to stick to my hot glue just so I can show you what it looks like. So this one, I'm pinching it more and you get more of a teardrop drop shape instead of a circle shape. And the roll, you can also glue it to make it more of a circle. So that is the loop. Okay, the tab one is kind of fun. So you have a piece of paper, you cut it like this, like a fringe, but they're wider apart. And then what you can do is you fold those cuts every other direction. So it looks like this from above. Let's scoot these over. This from above. But it gives you a place to put glue and make something stick out. Let's get these out of the way for you guys. Okay, then there's the folding cut. The folding cut is you like take a piece of paper and on the edge that has the fold, you can cut out shapes. Don't cut the entire fold off, you still need that. And kind of like a snowflake, when you open it up, you get the same cut on both sides. A snowflake, you would fold it six to eight times. You could cut on the other edge too. And that would be the fold and cut. And then last one I'm going to show you is the um, extrusions. So you can do multiple shapes with this one. It's easy to start with a thinner one in my opinion, but it's basically, this would be a, let's put some glue on here, circle extrusion. So extrusion means it pops off your paper, it extrudes. So you have this shape, you can fold it in, a, in thirds to make a, and then you always want a little tab so you have a place for the glue. This one will make a triangle extrusion. See, you can do it like a square, you can do any shape you want. Now the fun thing is combining all of these together. So you could do an extrusion and then you could put fringe on the edges of it. You could do that, you can put fringe on any of them. You could do the tab with the fringe. You could do the slot, but these could be curved and rolled and curled and rolled instead. 
Um, so you can have fun playing with these few paper techniques. I'm just trying to give you some to get you started. Enjoy!